Good morning. I'm home early from work. Do security. Unpredictable things happen. Thanks for fam for joining me on my past live streams. I know I haven't did any videos lately. I will do more videos, but and then I will get some cooking to do in a few days. But Subscribe to my channel, The Darkness Awaken. Subscribe and like all my videos, please. Greatly appreciate it. JT, better than ever. But I do want to talk about this. I was watching Facebook when I was on my way home. And it was this cop... Got what part of United, part of this USA is from. He was saying about us as African Americans, men, to protect ourselves and watch out for these white cops because they're killing us. Now it's an uproar of different police agencies around the country said that he's wrong, saying that that he is talking a certain race that do that. But what they fail to realize is really mostly y'all killing us. Now you sprinkling a little Hispanic and Mexican that follow along the lines that's killing us. But we ain't gonna talk about the Hispanic and Mexican. We're gonna talk about the whites because that's that's what's going on. He is advocating for ourselves. Matter of fact, I was talking to my brother earlier. And I was getting ready for work. And we was talking about things that we need to do as black men. To be whole cumble among ourselves. And we need to do that. We are doing a lousy job for whole cumble for ourselves. And we're not showing a good example for our young ones. And we got to do more better than that. I will get to that in the future. But I want to get back to this story. Why this alarming? Because this cop has telling us the truth, been saying this. He's not the first one has said this. But now how the media has expanded. And getting bored now. And go back to the story again. That. I uh, feel tight but. Sorry. They get mad. Oh you shouldn't say that. He shouldn't have no rights. It's a, and, but the citizen have more rights. But you know us as Africans. Especially in this country. We still five eighths of a citizen. So we still don't count. But you know. Again. The story in the future. That I most likely I might do it on live stream. But watch out for that in the future. But what's wrong with he say? And you notice every time where whoever black of African descent. The media always talk, oh yeah, he did this and he did that in the past. He has been. It's not just the white man is saying this. It's the white woman too. They always trying to put a spin on it. Trying to make us, no, 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 no. Let's not think about this. Some good. No. We have to understand that law enforcement is the good old white, good old white club. They, the modern KKK, they just wear uniforms, camouflage from the sheets and the dunce hat that they wear. See, we have black men, and I, it goes for me too. Each and every one of us, we have to start little by little to make our brotherhood strong. 
our young ones deserve that. Especially our young boys. Because they can't defend for themselves over the system. We got to protect them. And in this brother that we had, it cannot be no dick boys. It cannot be no papa swirlers. It cannot be no sips. None of that. No. When we teach our young ones and plus advocate for ourselves, it's got to be pure for the mind and the heart. Let me say it again. It's got to be pure for the mind and the heart. They have to know that we there for them. And even the ones that is handicapped in our, in our community. We got to make sure we be there for them. Brothers, advocate for ourselves and for our young boys. We don't have Hollywood platform. So you know it's got to be up to us to develop it. And brothers, we have to be in alignment with that. And it goes for me too. It goes for me too. Like I said before, of future live streams and videos of this channel. I used to have a son. But my son. I know what it's like to be a young black boy, be discriminated. Many times that I see at one time. So I know what I'm talking about and other brothers know what I'm talking about that too. It's gotta be all to us brothers. We have to be selfish to advocate for ourselves and for our young boys because the system is not going to do it. We still got these some of these bougie black men in this media and other sectors. Ain't doing shit. So it's got to be up to me and, and the brothers out there. I'm talking to y'all. Again, goes to me too. We got to advocate. Our young man is dying. And older ones is dying. They are committing suicide too. Because they don't feel loved. They don't feel, they, they need, you know, they, where's the trust at? Why are we popping bottles, brothers? I'm not even going to talk about the sisters. Well, I'm talking about us. We popping bottles. You know, we want to go to women to women and, and get our dick sucked and get and get fucked this pussy and all like that. But we forgetting our young boys. They have to raise themselves. Now, I know there are some women, they, they happy that I say, oh, you getting on the brothers. No, 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 no. I'm encouraged, our brothers. For some of you women, you know what you're doing and you need to stop. Because the fuckery what you doing, you actually hurting that young boy. You are, you refuse to go out, even if you're a single parent, you refuse to go out there and search for that strong male figure for your little son. For that young boy. So he growing up to know how to be a black man in this country and the rest of the world. Playing a system to hurt us, even grown men, 
and then the sisters that supporting us that that go against that I support you I salute you you know who you are thank you so much gotta get that out the way but brothers I encourage us please get your mind right change your mindset Let's put us first for a change. Let's put first our young boys first. Including the young girls too, but I'm talking about our young boys. Let's put them first. <sighs> Support my channel. The Darkness Awaken. Check out my Facebook page, Jerry Thomas, and also JTNVP, Thinking for Ourselves. I know it's a little emotional, but somebody got to say something. And I know other brothers saying it too. And I want y'all to, I want to thank y'all to give me the inspiration to make this. <sighs> Brothers, it's got to be up to us. It's now or never. We're in a crisis. And I know it feels useless, but we got to start from somewhere. Stand up for yourself and learn to be counted. I am a human being. I'm a black man. I'm the, I have the right to exist. I have the right to talk about my existence to empower myself and our, and our young boys in our community. I have the right. You have the right to. Let's do it. We can't do it big. We got to start from small. Let's do it little by little. Because our young boys depends on it. And us too. You know what that means. Support. Like my videos. Pass the out. It's up to us, brothers. Goes for me, too.